In this beta, we're introducing Gaussian splatting inside of Nuke. Splats can now be imported like any other 3D asset in the new 3D system. We can import .ply or .splat in the GeoImport or GeoReference node. You'll find most splats, once imported, need a quick rotation as done here with the GeoTransform. We can edit splats inside of Nuke and take advantage of the new field system, as you can see, which introduces multiple new nodes. Here, the field shape is being used to create a mask into the GeoDelete Points node. With it, we're defining a section of our splat that we want to work within. We can quickly navigate into the splat within the 3D viewer. The next thing we want to do is remove the bin we have here in the splat. Using the field shape again to create our mask into the GeoDelete Points, we can quickly edit our splat. To clean up the area where the bin no longer sits, we use the GeoGrade node. You may have noticed the GeoGrade has a new labs tag. Lab nodes are experimental and not intended for use in production, but we feel there's potential value in these tools so we'd like to make them available to you for testing. Lab nodes are hidden by default but can be found by updating all plugins. As with the GeoGrade, we also have a bunch of field nodes to test. Based on your feedback, we can prioritise these for future releases of Nuke. Now we've cleaned up our plate, we also can merge splats together. Here we have a bike.splat we've imported and we want to place within our current scene. Using the GeoMerge, we can merge our bike onto the street. GeoGrade then being used to add a quick shadow. To view our splats in 2D, we add a camera and then a new splat render node. In the splat render, there are knobs to enable depth and you can set up your motion blur. Once rendered, we can use our splat in traditional comp workflows such as using 2D elements to merge with our splat. Here we've added it in the background to complete our shot.